Okay guys, so I'm not going to be walking in front of the camera like the usual. Things and stuff are in my way. Things and stuff are always in my way because my room is a cluttered mess, usually a disaster. It's organized and I'm OCD, but still, when I'm making a video and more especially a haul, the things and stuff are sprawled and this haul is, I'm ecstatic. It's very, very large and collective. So, yes. And I am going to be leaving these ears on for the remainder of the video. The whole darn thing. Because they are great. And I love them. And we're going to talk about these in a moment. But, yes. So, I'm going to scoot back. Yeah. So, May. May the 4th be with you. In honor of this month being May. And May the 4th happening this month, a few days, weeks ago. This is pre-filmed, so yeah. We'll see if I upload it in May. It would make the most sense if I upload it in May, but yeah. These are really, really nice though, guys. They don't hurt. They're more stretchy. It's still a secure band, and it's sturdy, but it's not like, ow! It's not like, oh, I can just wear it for pictures, and then off and away they go. But yeah, they're really nice. Okay, so we should just go. I should just hurry because this video is already going to be long and this is a lot of stuff. And yeah. So we got random thrift store in my area. I believe two or maybe it was one single Goodwill location kind of in my area. Just two different trips, I think it was. Then we got Hobby Lobby, Craft Warehouse, do not have a bag for Craft Warehouse. Either it's going to be used for dog poop, or it already has been used, like so. But yeah, TMI, we're just talking about shit over here. Okay, so, um, we're gonna go here first, because I think that's what came first, since my collective haul, this is collected and collective since my last haul. So yeah. And um I was gonna say something else. What was I gonna say? Um I don't know. But I'm just re excited, like re excited for all of these things and stuff because they've been in that corner of my room. They've been back here in the closet and finally here I am. So yeah. Although I did like just get some of these things. I can't be that re-excited, I'm still excited because I remember what they are. Why am I still talking? Okay, we're just gonna go. Alright, so we have Goodwill. Yay! And it looks like it's a deformed Goodwill bag. That's just because of this, and this, and this. These three items. So yeah, we're gonna go here. By the way, these things and stuff, I was with my coworker Myra and my client who will not be named, just for privacy's sake. I don't think I've mentioned his name. I don't know, but I don't want to, just for privacy. And I mean, yeah. Okay, so this, I could garage sale this. I could honestly throw it away. Don't know why I bought it. I'm very impulsive and indecisive when I shop, and that's like the worst combination. So here it is. It's this container holder thing. There are these three hearts, and they're kind of cut off and straight in a line in the middle. They're not that plump curve continuing. And it's got this interesting white, well, now off-white, it's so old, crochet outlining it. And it's kind of quilted, if you guys can see that. I feel so far away. It's just, I want to show these things properly and hold them up, and you can get the full view. Just waving this around. If you guys can see that quilted pattern. And I got a new tattoo. Can you see that? <laughs> Why am I so weird? We don't know. But yeah, I like the color. I mean, I think it's like suede and it's a really cool, greenish, like a nice spring green, very pastel. So I need to clean it somehow because there's dust and dirt and probably like fleas and mites in here. And interesting fact, made in China, 100% polyester. I was thinking like makeup or something, $4.99. Thankfully we still have tags and stuff 
on these things and stuff, receipts, they run away from me, or I lose them, or yeah. And that was one item, and that took how long for me to explain and talk about it? Okay, so this I want to give to my mother for Mother's Day. Maybe Mother's Day has since passed for the year 2K19, because this video is pre-filmed, and anyway. So her favorite color is blue right now. She really likes all different shades of blue, especially the pastel, brighter, lighter blue. And I just saw this. I think it's meant for a candle. I don't know. My family wants to do this candle business. It was my dad's grand idea, and we've been sitting on this idea for quite some time. And it's interesting. I didn't do this intentionally, get a candle as like, hey, let's do it. Let's make it happen. It needs to be a thing now, but it's just a plan right now. Anyway. So yeah, it's just this wooden block. It's a rectangle and it's pretty solid. It's got this cutesy little, I think it's like burlap blue and that's slightly more green than the sky blue of the rest of it. And yeah, I think it's just cute, it's a cute little bow. This was $1.99 for the mama. There's gotta be something else I can give her. It's just, I don't know, I'm a poor college student and I spend my money too fast, the small amounts of money that I do make. Anyway, so there's this. I know Easter is gone. This is either late for Easter this year or early for next year, like very early. I don't know. I have another egg. It's like a golden egg thing and it's cool for pictures. I don't know. This one, I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe it's like a leaf pattern. There are these different lines and colors. There's orange and green in the background. And then all of these butterflies, I think they're all monarch now. Maybe not. And then they just have these words and stuff. It's just cursive and it says like history, pinks, something of softness. Shot, is that organ? <laughs> New treasure? Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's kind of cool. And there was no little price tag or sticker on it. And the lady said, however much it was, just real cheap. So that was Goodwill. But there's more from that trip. There's this. Are you ready? This is so cool. How was it only $4.99, $5? It's vintage. There's something else that is extremely vintage, antique, old, ancient. We're going to talk about him first. So it looks like it's copper, and it's very worn out. And you could sell this. Just the look, the style... It's amazing, and I didn't know this exciting part until I showed my parents and I discovered it. My dad is jealous. He loves to buy and sell. This is going to be like part one of part probably three, four, five, twelve, anyway. So look at this. It's so cool. It's this vintage car. It's pretty big. I mean, I have a big hand for a girl. It's probably like this, like up and down. And then the width is still like the length of my hand, I don't know. It looks like an oil spill, it's just so old. You could restore, refresh it. I don't want to, I really like this look. By the way, made in Hong Kong according to the sticker. And it's just, it's amazing. It's so just rustic and you can probably cut yourself on this. It's kind of jagged in some areas, but it's amazing. And then this, guys, so the engine or whatever, I don't know my cars, it's like Semi, truck, jeep, obviously slug bug. Did I say truck? Van. That's like all I got. But guys, it's a music box. Look at it. I'm holding this very strange. Still trying to figure out the song. I kind of know music. This ow, my finger's stuck. Ow! Probably just cut myself. Anyway, I don't know. This will be playing the whole time, and it might annoy you. I'll have to put it way over here. No, because that's closer to you. I don't want it to be too loud, and now I have to talk over it. But it's just, it's so cool, and the little horns and the wheels, and the wheels don't spin. It's, like, frozen in place. But I have a spot for it, maybe. Maybe not, because that thing here is going to have to have a spot. I'll figure it out. Anyway. So that is so sweet. I love it. And yeah, that was the first Goodwill trip. And let's just go to online. We'll have an online break. So I got these ears. 
these are the white ones and then right here we have the black ones and I got them off eBay they were real cheap combined for the two total it was like five dollars by the way you know how I would sometimes have music on in the background of some of my videos don't really do it all that much anymore because I feel like I have to talk over it and it can be annoying and distracting maybe my fingers bleeding <laughs> but I don't know that's kind of what this is like could I get copyright for this too we don't know <laughs> but anyway back to this so it's got this thin headband going on. It's pretty stretchy and it seems good quality for the price. It's like from China, Hong Kong, I don't know. It's like five bucks and shipping was free. It's really, really nice. And I have plans for this, picture ideas. I went to Disneyland like four times within the past year or whatever it was, something crazy. And I wish that these ears came before the trip. I ordered them like just before. But I was just thinking I could be like Minnie Mouse with more like low-key ears I don't know cute little black mouse ears but I mean I can still do pictures and save it for next time and stuff and also they do have a bunch of different colors but I don't know anyway I was just gonna say um, I'm on. so I was thinking I could be a polar bear with these if and when hopefully when hopefully I'm brave enough to make it happen but anyway when I dye my hair white in the future want to do that. I think that'd be the cutest little look Halloween costume thing. Maybe even for going out because I'm crazy and I would do that. But a little polar bear and then this could be a panda bear or Minnie Mouse just like I said. So I have some Halloween ideas. The black ears seem easier to style. I don't know. But yeah, you do have to fluff them up just a little bit just the way that they were pressed in the packaging. And they came just in this really easy bag or whatever. So there's that. And then more online. So this, he's a disappointment. And I should actually pull, this, pull up the picture. It sounds weird. Okay. So sand rinse. I have ordered from them before one other time. So this is my third purchase, well third item, second purchase if that makes sense, whatever, and it's sanrents.com, it's like kawaii inspired fashion, kind of Asian style, and let me just go, I don't have to sign in because it's really nice, mm, we're going to avoid that and just be faster and go like this, okay, so, should I have this ready before? So I did a funny little snap of this, you know, like Snapchat, and I was just like, yeah, uh, no. I showed the picture that I'm about to show you, and then I moved my phone, the camera, over to the actual thing, which I'm about to show you, and it was just hilarious and ridiculous to see the nasty contrast, and it was really, really depressing. You'll see why. So this, let me see this, and you can see if you can see you see that at all? Mm. Look at this. It's so cute. It's a unicorn. It's a purse. They combined those two beautiful things. Purse, unicorn, unicorn, purse. Amazing. And then there's this. Where's the chain? Why is it so big? It's a stuffed animal. The bow is different. This is for another color unicorn, like the white one. This is the pink one. The pink one. It's like, what? So it's very misleading, and I feel lied to. So I'm thinking that Sanrens is good for fashion and clothing items. It's just not good for the things and stuff, like accessories or whatever, like this. So that kind of sort of pissed me off. That was $22. I think I got it on sale at the time, whatever it was. And then the shipping with that, I spent like $30, $35, I think it was. And ugh, I still feel kind of PO'd. It's like, what do I do? Do I shrink him, just put him in the dryer and shrink him? Do I take a knife, stab his back, and just cut him open right here down his spine and take some stuffing out and have my sewing person friend? attach chains and fix them up for me. I'm like, 
So, put him in the dryer, shrink him, cut him open, add a chain. I'm very tempted, but it's just like the bow is wrong, and I purposely didn't want this bow because it gets all wrinkly, and it's just, it's crazy. And even the hoods don't match. I mean, it, it is cute. The whole overall, the whole thing is still cute. I mean, it's a unicorn, it's like kawaii style, and I do have another unicorn, it's like a mermaid thing, not from Sanrance, but just from my dad. But it's like, I'm disappointed and I'm sad, and I really, really, really wanted that purse. I was so excited. I have a place for it, I still have a place for it on my wall, and I just had big ideas, picture ideas, and it was gonna be a really cool accessory thing. But anyway, so it's like this mint blue pony unicorn thing got this purple tail, purple mane, it's like scrunched and big, voluminous, whatever, and then it has this big like bang right here, he's got bangs like me, and then this like yellow spiraled horn to make him a unicorn, and then the pink bow that I was talking about, and then these little stars on each side, pink and yellow, the hood's on one side pink, the hood's on the other side purple, I like him, I do, oh and those eyes? Gotta love those eyes, no pupils, really, really creepy and scary and nightmarish, but yeah. And then you got his little nostrils, the same kind of deep purple. So, I like him, I do. Would I return him if I could? Probably, like 99.9% .9 positive that I would be interested in returning if it were possible, if it made sense, which it doesn't. I don't think Santa does returns, I didn't really look into it, and even if they did, it would be expensive with the shipping, and it would just be a hassle, and it would be just really, really annoying. So, not gonna do that, not gonna, no. So, I don't know, I like him, it's just, I wanted a purse, so. <sighs> yeah. So, Santa you lied to me, you failed me, I'm sorry, but... I'm like, how did they fit him in this bag? This bag, it looks like it could fit a purse. And not this oversized monster. You know? If I wanted a stuffed animal unicorn, I would buy a stuffed unicorn. Whatever. Okay. Mm, we're at like 15 minutes, right? Please don't say 20. Ooh, 17, we're in the middle. Okay, so talked about that. Now we're gonna go we'll save the most recent for a little bit. We'll do this. Alright, so live a creative life. Hobby Lobby. Okay, so this is half Hobby Lobby, half half craft warehouse. Okay. So this was seven fifty nine. This was under art. And Cassidy helped me out. So hi Cassidy because you clearly watch my videos. No, so the guy was pretty cool. I don't know how old he was, maybe like 30, 35. He was really cool and friendly. He was on a ladder in the aisle that I was down. And he was just talking to me, just asking me about what I wanted and being really helpful and he was cool. I don't know if he was flirting. I never know if people are flirting with me or just being nice or I'm just awkward so I never understand social interaction and social cues. But anyway, so this is the bound sketchbook for pencil, chalk, graphite, whatever. $6.99 art and it's kind of like reptile scale style, just black. And then it's got this little strip that can help to bind the pages, like close it, whatever, and I'm just going to open that again. So I'll do a video, maybe vlog series of this, and what I mean by this, to explain this, it's just more of a, I don't know, it's a big trend right now, it's all over Pinterest I feel like. It's kind of like that scrapbook slash bullet journal type of thing, mine is more scrapbook than bullet journal, but anyway, so here's a little sneak peek. So we got my name, and it is corny and cheap and fast. I mean, I use tape, so yeah. But that's just, it's the style that I like. This was inspired by a Pinterest person idea. So, yeah. 
I don't know, I like it. My boss is really, really cool and she lets me use her craft room and take stuff from there and work on stuff. And I have some of her little goods now in my bound sketchbook. So, yes, I was really, really, really tempted to replace, well not replace, but get another one of my older spiral notebooks. Very similar, probably like the same brand, which is like Master's Touch Fine Art Studio, whatever. And mine is spiraled. It's not bound like this, and it's obviously larger and for drawing. Well, this is for drawing, but it's my journal. So, yes, gonna have to get more of those in the future. I want to get more into like scrapbook style journaling. Still talking about this. Okay, now this is Craft Warehouse. I went to Craft Warehouse first, and then I went to Hobby Lobby, and then I went back to Craft Warehouse. So, I saw this, I didn't get it the first time, then I went back for it, because I did think about it, and I was like, hmm, maybe. So this will be another vlog series type thing, I'm really excited about this, I'm not going to start this until I start school in the fall, possibly. So this is a Wreck This Journal. Wreck my journals right now, they're not as trendy as maybe they were a little bit ago, I don't know, they're still a thing. So this is The Revolution is now in color. Well, I guess I'm just reading something off of this. Here's the front. So, it's just all these random little strips and colors and patterns and words. It's by Carrie Smith, it looks like, or maybe that's just like a famous person that they have on here. No, I don't know. And this was $16, Canada, 22. I'm Canadian, and I don't like that price. But yeah, so warning, during the process of this book, you will get dirty. You may find yourself covered in paint, blah, 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 blah. So I'm real excited about this. I'm kind of sort of sad, though, because it's so pretty and fresh and cool, and it's going to get abused, and I'm going to feel really cool because I'm destroying something. I did destroy a Twilight series book, and it's now hanging on my wall, so. So, yeah, but, yeah. So that's really cool. I'm excited about this things. I think it will be a cool, fun video thing. So yeah. I think I'm going kind of faster. No? Anyway. Okay. So we'll put that there. We'll put this there. And now we're going to do Goodwill. Yeah. More Goodwill. Okay. Goodwill. Yay. Whoa. Okay, so we're going to talk about this. So my friend Emily and I, we hang out and we go thrifting. Hanging out with us equals thrifting. Well, I guess from your point of view, the equal would go like this and you go from left to right, right? So my friend Emily and I hanging out equals thrifting. Like, that's what we do. It's that or food or usually a combination of the two. This time was just this because I knew that, well, I already ate and I knew that we were going to spend all our money just on thrifting so yeah anyway she's always telling me to put stuff back and she acts like a mom sometimes that's just her personality type and she's just like you have to put that back like it's either this or this you pick five things out of those ten and usually I whine and complain and I'm like uh no it's my money and I just kind of like sass her and she's just trying to help me save my money and be smart and not be impulsive and be a better shopper but yeah so we come in we see the registers and the things and stuff beside them and going down the line, like when you're in line or whatever, the checkout. And we see all these Beanie Babies, guys. All the Beanie Babies. There was Winnie the Pooh. There were birthday ones. I saw November, which is me, like Topaz and all cute. Kind of looks like a clown, the design of the Beanie Baby Bear. Anyway, so my sister Ashley, cute story, this is great. She had a Beanie Baby collection for a time and she was collecting them. She thought it was going to be this big investment and she was going to make big bucks off of it. And then they died. They're not popular. They're not a value of worth or anything. And I don't know. Do I have any? Well, until now, maybe not. But whatever. So yeah, I know we did have this in my family. So it's the little bride bear with the veil and the little corsage and the little silver crown and silver necklace. What, what other detail we got? She's just cute. I think she's a little polar bear. She's so cute though. I want to know her name, but I'm too lazy to open this and we don't have time for that. No, we don't have time. So $3.99. I hope I was saying prices earlier. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
So yeah, I mean she's cute guys. She's real cute. Am I getting married at the moment? No, not anytime soon. Am I engaged? No, not anytime soon. That's a no. And um, no, I don't know if I want to get married. I'll just be married, married to my work, to my job, to my life. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not there yet, but I can live vicariously through her. I couldn't find the dude, and I probably would have just got hurt anyway. Yeah, there was a wedding dress there. That'd be great if I left with that, too. I have picture ideas if and when I do get engaged and want to show off the ring and whatever. My mom used to have this. I don't know if I finished that story, but I'm going to finish the story now. So, yeah, my mom used to have this. It was hanging out on her bed with the, not mantle of the bed, bed frame, whatever. Really, really cute. So I had more in the cart, and then my friend, she had me put them back. She wanted me to put all of them back, but I have to. So, okay, now we're at 25 now. Okay. 26. Okay, so hopefully I can get through the rest of this bag. There are three more items. Or, I guess four. Okay, so we'll do this first. So this is navy. It's a dress. It's a maxi dress. It's a slip dress. My friend, I'm surprised that she found this for me. I mean, why would she encourage me to do this? Because it's very sheer, and she's like, you want to rain? No. Oh, there's little bows on the straps. I didn't see that. They got a little white bead right there. So the top, it's really, really cute. It's, I don't know, it's like shells almost. Like that baby doll, breast enhancer, whatever type of thing. Lace, crochet, I don't know. And then it's like little baby doll. It's like the double straps, the gay straps, and then it just goes down. I'm really, really excited. It's only $2.99, which is crazy. Love my laundry. Okay, these three were me. I have something very similar to this. My friend and I agreed, but I had to get it, mostly because she was like, you need more neutrals and earth tones for my skin and whatever. So, oh, brand. I might have to stop video here. This guy, Vanity Fair, made in USA, and I do have that one, that brand. This one, Extra Large by Mini Chica, yeah, and it's just this brown tan kind of color, the lace on the bodice area is a slightly lighter tan, and it's just this really pretty mid-thigh length dress, kind of baby doll, sleeveless, it's got this little tie thing going on here, like that trendy style, really like that, can I see the price? $4.99 and cliffhanger. I'm gonna continue one sec. Yeah, be right back. 